and welcome to Cybos 2018 in Sydney. I'm Hannah Wallace, and with me now is the CEO of Murex Groups, Maroon Eddy, and we're going to be talking about IT transformation. Hello, Maroon. Thank you very much for joining me. My pleasure. Now, firstly, I'd love to hear from you. What are the factors that are driving banks to undertake large transformation projects in the capital market today? Well, it all started in 2008. Um, around the financial crisis, which reset the way fi the financial industry works. Since then, regulations have changed almost completely the rules under which these financial institutions operate. And one of the consequences has been that uh, profitability uh, of these institutions went down. You have to put aside more capital for a revenue which is lower. And so the only way to survive is to transform, number one, to reduce your costs, but then also to find drivers for new revenue. And this is a, a pretty deep transformation going through the industry. All right, and what new technologies would you highlight that are influencing this transformation? Well, you could argue that technology is a bit of a savior there, because wherever you look throughout the stack of technology that has been used by financial institutions, there is new technology uh, which is able to provide more for less. At the level of the infrastructure, for instance, there's of course uh, cloud technology which gives elasticity. At the level of calculations, as another example, there are GPUs or cloud also in order to be able to provide capability for very high calculations. At the level of uh, database management, uh, there's in-memory database where you can hold an enormous amount of data and access it like that. Uh, at the level of the rendering, you have mobility, and on and on and on you go. As I said, throughout the stack, you have novelty, which is delivering an enormous value. And finally, for a successful IT transformation, what processes need to be put in place? Yes. Well, I told you that the, the gift was essentially technology, but it doesn't come free. You cannot just inject technology like that. It is hard work. It is hard work. First, because you have to change the older legacy and the sheer fact that you have to reorganize all of that is very costly. But it is also hard because as an institution transforming yourselves, you have to change and you have to change the way you work with your providers. You have to change your mentality, you have to change your agility. And changing for an industry which has been successful for decades is very complicated and it goes from the top down. So at the sea level, you have to understand that the change is profound uh, and modify completely the way your institutions operate. And I think that's what's the hardest by far for financial institutions. Great, well, Maureen, thank you for your insights. This has been great. With great pleasure, thank you. And thank you for watching.